Welcome to Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drogheda. Uh, I'm Nick Park and I want to share with you today about something that happened in a Japanese zoo. Now, there is a scientific term, parthenogenesis, which is the scientific term for a virgin birth. Now, uh, you might be saying, what, you mean science understands and knows about virgin births? Well, absolutely, there are creatures that can have virgin births. Uh, for example, sharks. There have been sharks in aquariums that where you've had a female shark with no males anywhere near it, it ends up uh, getting pregnant. And the DNA tests of the pups, which is what you call a, a baby shark, shows that it, it the DNA is entirely that of the mother. There was no father. It is something that can take place in certain species. And the very scientific word parthenogenesis is a very biblical word because genesis, of course, means the beginning. That's why the first book of the Bible is called Genesis. And parthenos is the Greek word for virgin. Uh, whenever it speaks in the Bible about Jesus being born of a virgin, it's this very word that is used. It doesn't mean a young woman. It means a virgin. And so parthenogenesis is when a virgin gives birth. Now, while that's been occurred with sharks, it's never been observed with, uh, for example, primates such as uh, monkeys or gorillas or anything like that. But a couple of years ago, zookeepers in Japan thought they might just have such a case on their hands. There was, there was a 12-year-old white-handed gibbon called Momo who was kept in a cage by herself uh, with no male company, and she gave birth to uh, a baby in February 2021 in this zoo in Nagasaki. And everyone was amazed by this and they said, what, what has happened? Is this a virgin birth? So anyway, they carried out DNA tests on the baby monkey and then they carried out DNA tests on other monkeys in the zoo and they discovered that it wasn't a virgin birth in this case, but that the father was a 34-year-old gibbon who had been in the next enclosure to Momo at the time whenever she got pregnant. And so not a virgin birth, but still remarkable because the two enclosures were separated by a steel plate and there was a hole in that steel plate. Now, the hole in that steel plate was nine millimeters in diameter. That's like less than a third of an inch. But somehow these two gibbons were not going to be deterred by that and they managed to get together and produce a baby gibbon. The gibbons found a way where there seemed to be no way. And in fact, you know what? I mean, I don't need an example from nature of a virgin birth for me to have faith in the virgin birth of Christ, because I serve a God of, of miracles. You know, I don't care. Okay, sharks can do virgin births. That's sort of interesting. Even if a monkey could, that would be sort of interesting. But it doesn't alter my belief one way or the other that I believe that God enabled a virgin, Mary, to give birth to a son who was Jesus Christ. But what I do really admire is these gibbons who, when it seemed impossible, still they found a way for their love to bring them together. And you know what? I believe we can learn from these gibbons. Sometimes there seems to be no way. Sometimes the things that we desire, the things that we dream for, the things that we read about in the Bible and we claim those promises, and sometimes they seem to be so far away, they seem to be impossible. There seems no human way, no natural way that it could possibly ever happen. And yet, sometimes we can find a way. God makes a way where there seems to be no other way. Even two gibbons can make a way where there seems to be no way. And so I believe in the things that you know is God's will for your life, and yet it doesn't seem to be happening. It seems to be impossible. God will make a way where there seems to be no way. Let's trust him for that in Jesus' name. God bless you today. Have a wonderful day. Join us again next time for another Take 5, your five-minute inspirational message from Solid Rock Drahada.